UK weather so crazy. Like 15 minutes ago, the sun was out and then the clouds came in and now it's lightly drizzling. But I thought I would um, do an update on my miracle berries. Not let the rain put me off. So this is my second largest miracle berry, the Dulcificum sincipalum. I think that's how you um, how you say it, Dulcificum sincipalum. And um, yeah, I'm very happy with this actually. As you can see, there's some flower buds there. Yeah, they're all over this plant actually. Little flower buds just starting to emerge. Those ones there have pollinated, so we'll see if those turn into actual fruitlets. Lots of new growth, as you can see. And generally, nice green color. And um, this is my largest miracle berry. And it has some fruits, fruitlets, berries already um, set. They take about five weeks from pollination um, to ripeness. But again, it's just covered in flower buds all over, guys. They don't all um, turn into fruit. It's been my experience so far. But quite a few of them do. And I've probably got about 10 plants left. I've given a few away. But yes, looks very healthy. Um, yeah, so you can see that this plant is actually a little bit lopsided, so it throws out branches in all sorts of weird angles. And um, so you see this is we've got a long branch here. What I've done, guys, is I've decided to air layer it. So at the beginning of August, it's the end of August now, I air layered it, air -layered it by taking off the bark coating um, applying some hormone gel and this little box here is a old hummus hummus um, container with peat inside I'll just strap some electrical tape around it so hopefully fingers crossed in about three months time I'll be able to chop it off here and I'll have a new Miracle berry plant, one which is already ready to produce fruit. Okay, guys, I thought I'd talk a little bit about how I um, feed these plants. So I only give it rainwater. Okay, so. This here is water I've collected from my water butt. And generally, I feed it with a si soluble um, citrus feed. The label's um, worn out now, but I think that's an 181818. 18, 18. And the most important part is this, the vitamin C, which I give it, and, and that lowers the pH to around the 5.5 range. And I work this out using a pH meter, so I know the exact dose of this vitamin C um, that I need to provide per liter. So I work this out of this particular vitamin C to be, I need to give it 0.2 for every liter. 
So in this five litre jug, I need to give it one gram of um, this vitamin C. And there's a few different types of vitamin C, guys. The one you want to be giving your Miracle Berry is the ascorbic acid, not the calcium ascorbate, which is another type. I made that mistake at the beginning and the plant suffered. So ascorbic acid powder is the one you want to give it. Okay, and that could be found in um, Amazon or any of those type stores, ascorbic acid powder. And every now and again, I give it some fish emulsion. Now this is great stuff. This is one of my favorite products. This is BioBiz Fish Mix. And you can give this to a wide range of plants, any of your plants really. It's organic and um, it adds to the microbes and gives it micronutrients. So I use this for citrus and um, yeah, just all my plants really. It's relatively cheap and I highly recommend it, okay? This is BioBiz Fish Mix. So I'll just give it a little bit of that as well. And I'll only give this to this Miracle Berry plant um, once a month or so. It's not 100% necessary. The plant will be healthy without it. I just think it's a nice addition. Okay, since I'm growing these plants in peat, moss and perlite, there isn't much microbial life going on in there. And I think, um, yeah, this adds a little something to it. So I've already actually given it the citrus feed. And now I need to give it some of this vitamin C powder. So as I said, I need to give it one gram. So I'll, what I do, rather than use the pH meter each time, I just weigh it out, guys, and it's so much quicker than using the pH, pH meter. So... One point one doesn't have to be exact. That'll do. And so I'll give that a little bit of a stir. Where do I leave my stick? Okay, give that a little bit of a stir. And guys, this um, mixture of the vitamin C and the citrus feed seems to be working really well. Look for yourself how healthy these, this plant is. Okay guys, if you've got any questions regarding growing a miracle berry plant, please leave them in the comment section. Oh, and while I'm here, this is um, a fig, brown turkey fig, which um, cut in. She's just beginning to, um, just beginning to root or just um, throwing up shoots now. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.